All right, so just to give everybody a little more um, experience with this kind of stuff, I'm going to start mixing and you know cleaning up some other drum tracks that I had recorded for this example. Let's listen to the first one. Yet again, just awful. Terrible. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this guy. Just got the double kick thing. So we're gonna open this up. Nope, nope, nope. Here, control A, and we're gonna cross our fingers and quantize. Go. Oh. Oh, looks like everything lined up pretty well. Pull that guy out at the end there. Hmm, that looks really good. Turn this off and get a quick listen. Wait a minute, did I? Of course I didn't, just like the last video. Complex, always go to complex. Not bad, fixed, wonderful, that was easy. Uh, let's take a little look at this guy real quick. Snare here. Nothing looks too bad there, but I'm just going to move some stuff around. A few things over here. Oops, no. and do that. Great, 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 great. Listen. Ride. So let me take that guy out. Give this a quick listen. Remove this to complex. And just do the same thing we did uh, on the last video. Just finding those quarter note hits and isolating them. Oh, that's on the beat. Look at that. I actually hit one note on the beat. It's a mad world we live in. All right. I'm just drag and drop these guys. Good cow. Good cow. Good cow. All right, oh, no, just move that guy on there too. Give this a quick listen. Great, wonderful, wonderful. You can hear a little bit of the um, off hits on the snare creeping in, but it's it's not that bad. Once we got all the mixing done, it would kind of take care of itself, I guess. Let's see, let's see.
Now in this example, I think I'm going to try to cut by hitting Control, Control E here. It's going to split all those into separate tracks. And I'm going to work this one out kind of measure by measure. Let's move him back a little bit more. Nope, didn't like that either. Let's see, where were you? I'm going to tighten this grid up a little bit. Mm. This is where things get really picky. You can do so many things. That's a pretty nice feel. So I'm going to gate these toms, so I don't have to worry about all that. Let's keep that high for now until the... Actually, I don't even think... You know what? I don't even use that tom, so I can just delete that guy. All right. I mean, he's got a high gate, so whatever. That floor off. Let's see what the hat's doing here. And that's where you get that problem, man. That's where you're going to start having to fight for it. It's never going to be a clean mix. You know what? Those are all really nicely placed transients. I'm just going to select this little section. Control I. See what I can do with them. See, I mean that is so cool when that happens. Nope, too much. Oh, of course I keep. Ableton is not globally warping in complex, and it's so annoying. Oh my god. I forgot what I was doing. Let me go back here. All right, that's what I was doing. There we go. Nope. Yeah, yeah, let's go there. All right. Okay, cool, cool.
through here and do this for uh, four tracks at a time. Just do this for everything because I am a terrible drummer. Not globally doing that. It's so annoying. I'm just going to go ahead and select all these guys. I'll actually do it here too. Relax. out of measure. You know what? I think I'm gonna take that ride out. Yeah, because I don't use that guy for a while. Go away, ride. I guess I could have put an aggressive gate on it, huh? Yeah, whatever. bring this through so it doesn't sound as choppy. I'm going to bring it through a little bit more. And here's where you have to start making decisions whether or not you want to do it. Pull this back a hair. That sounds pretty good. So you just mess around until you find what you like. That's supposed to be a tight triplet. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's pull it to a bigger...
kick in there that sounds incredibly weird. It's either like super late or super early. One of the two. Let's see if we can just move that by itself if it'll sound all right. So, I think this was. I mean, I I put a little um. I put a little bit of um. I guess swing feel, some kind of you know groove into that. And if I wanted to clean it up and make it super super mega straight, I could do that. Taking all these hits. You know what? I don't even know where these are supposed to be, so. And then let's go over here to the. Do the same thing because she picked up everything. That eavesdropping person. Eavesdropping hi hat mic. That's what sounds weird. That's supposed to be a very, very, very straight rhythm. Those are all supposed to be on like eighth notes. Might be the snare gate. Uh, 
let's pull you back a smidge here. Sounds good. It just sounds weird for some reason. I don't really know why. Oh, I bet it's that. Is it that? Was that the issue? There might even be a guy in here somewhere. Maybe right there-ish? That might have been it. That sounds a lot better. Cool. This little grace note here, you could even, uh, oh, not what I meant to do. You could even take that guy and kind of move it around if you wanted to tweak it. Nope, don't want to do that. Make sure you have anchor points between the, uh, the warp marker that you're moving. Like, let's go straight in the middle with it. I'm just gonna bring that grace note to a uh, eighth note or sixteenth note or something. Move it way the heck over. That was an awful spot for it. Let's move it back then. Oh, I guess the gate took it out because it was a little, now it's all flubby and weird. We could try to add it back in, I guess. Weird. I guess that was not the one I was looking for. See, I just moved a grace note. I just took that little grace note and moved it around. So here's what it sounded like before. Let me pull this back. Notice it had a lot of swing to it, a lot of feel. And then here's what it sounded like after I edited. So little stuff takes a long time, but you can see that if you really needed it for whatever reason, you can do it. You can totally do it. All right. Now, let's see. Taking things out is uh, really hard to do with drum tracks. If you need to like take out a snare, you have to remove all the evidence of the fact that it happened. Um, Let's see. Which is like if there's a hi hat going on, it's going to pick up that the snare happened and you're just going to completely lose it. Um, so, like, if I wanted to take this snare out, I can't, like, just delete everything. I mean, I can, and this is probably what I would end up doing, is just going for this. So what that's going to do is uh, hopefully when you um, add the drum track to a mix, it'll kind of 
take that empty space and fill it out so it doesn't sound like something's completely missing. Sometimes you'll be able to get by by going in here, you know, selecting a warp marker and just trying to crush it somewhere and get the sounds around it. Now, another thing you can do if the hat's missing, um, like say you want to take the snare out of a part, um, but you want to keep the hat. But by taking the snare out, you know, the hat picked up the snare when you hit it, the hat mic did. You can copy and paste a previous hat uh, into it that didn't have a snare on it. That way you still get it. Now it sounds a lot better. Um, and that's a really good example of how to take things away. Adding is really easy, however. If I wanted to add another snare hit, like, let's see. Let me go to another non-edited area. Uh, if I wanted to add a snare hit, like, right here. Where was it at? I'm just going to take this guy, move him back a little bit. Line it up with something. Oops, sorry, that was completely wrong. Uh, there we go. That's better. Now, you sometimes that'll happen. Um, you'll end up with a really, depending on how close or far away the things are. Like if I wanted to add it way back here, that copy and paste method would have totally worked because there's, a, there's enough room for it to ring out without sounding like it's re-triggering. See, like that. So I've added a new, uh, kind of a swingy snare in there. Yeah, and I can, you know, move that to get a different sound and all that stuff. Let's pull it back here a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So, we've got... so let's say we wanted to add a snare closer to it and we couldn't quite copy and paste it. Well then what you can do is look over here, we've got these two snares back to back, which are me actually hitting it with, you know, twice. We can just take that and move it over here and hope that it'll work out and that there wasn't anything weird going on that was caught in the crosstalk. So let's see. Yep, sound fine. That one would sound better though. I'm gonna go over here and steal this guy. Right there, bam. Much better. Clean up the edges a little bit. Always clean up the edges. You want as little evidence as possible that you just did the thing that you did. There's something weird happening. Here, so I'm gonna drag the original sample back into it. That's the original snare before or after the one that I added. Boom, awesome. Beautiful. Just little editing tricks for these stupid, stupid drum parts. You know, honestly, I think that's enough. If anybody has even watched this video, it's just me editing for like 40 minutes. Um, if you have any questions about anything I did here, um, or you want me to show you how to do anything specifically with drum tracks, just let me know. Um, and again, if you watched this video like all the way through, thank you, because I don't even know why I'm making it. Um, and I'll give you guys all of the um, stems and stuff for this so you can do your own mixes. Thanks for watching.